Hi there, students. Um, in this video, I go through the process of showing you um, how to determine whether or not three vectors are linearly independent. Okay, so what does it mean to be linearly independent? Well, I just simply write the definition down. Um, the definition is um, that if you take some scalar c1 times the vector v1 plus c2 times v2 plus c3 times v3, if you set that equal to the zero vector, then the vectors are linearly independent if and only if c1, c2, and c3 are zero. Okay, so um, that means that that is the only solution to this linear system of equations. All right, well, what does that mean? So remember that this is a linear combination, so let me just write that down given this specific example. So I have c1 times the vector 1, 2, minus 3, plus c2 times the vector 2, 5, minus 2, plus c3 times the vector 1, 3, 4. Um, that's what this linear combination is. I set it equal to the zero vector. That's what this vector here is. And my claim is that the only way that this is going to be true is if c1, c2, c3, the vector that um, has those components is equal to the zero vector. So I'm going to write this as a matrix equation. Now remember that this linear combination, this is really matrix vector multiplication. Um, if I were to take this matrix here and multiply it by this vector. Some of you may think of that as C1, C2, C3. You take C1, multiply it by that by 1, take C2, multiply it by 2, take C3, multiply it by 3, and then likewise take C1, multiply it by 2, take C2, multiply it by 5, take C3, multiply it by 3. If you look what you're doing, you're taking C1 and you're multiplying it by the first column. You're taking C2, you're multiplying it by the second column. And you're taking C3 and you're multiplying it by the third column. So when you write a linear combination like this one, this is really matrix vector multiplication. So you now have a matrix equation. Okay, I'm gonna write this as an augmented system, likewise, and then I'm gonna perform the following reduction to get this, matrix, uh, get this augmented matrix into echelon form. So now that I have it in echelon form, I don't have to put it in row reduced echelon form, I just need it in echelon form. You notice that I get the three pivots, one, one, one on the diagonal, and so I have a unique solution. The only solution that works for this system is when I set, I take C3 here and I set it equal to zero. Now I do back substitution. That means I have C2 plus C3 is equal to zero. So, um, and then I have C1 plus 2C2 plus C3 is equal to zero. And then I just perform the back substitution. I set C3 equal to zero. Now since C3 is equal to zero, that means C2 is equal to zero. Since C2 is equal to zero and C3, are equal to zero, that means C1 is equal to zero as well. So the unique solution to this system is C1, C2, C3 is equal to zero, zero, zero. So the C vector here is equal to the zero vector. So since C1, C2, C3 are all equal to zero, that is a unique solution to the system, we claim that V1, V2, V3 are linearly independent. Now, I go through an explanation of why we use the term linearly independent in another video, and I compare that to um, the case where the vectors are linearly dependent. Um, I have another example. So I encourage you to check out um, those videos, maybe come back to this one. Um, you might want to watch those videos a few times um, in tandem so that you can put together this definition of linearly independent. All right, good luck.